Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas here, and in this video I'm doing an unboxing review of the Vitcher Media Neckband. And so this is an add-on device to go with your Vitcher One XR glasses that I did the review on last week. Uh, this actually gives you the ability to be completely portable and have a full media experience without having to be tethered to your smartphone or your tablet. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we get and uh, how it works and we'll continue on with the video from there. Okay, so here we have the box for the Vitra neckband and we open it up and inside we see the neckband itself and you can see it's folded up. We just unfold it here and then we have this box off to the side and this has some oops, extras in it. Let me get it opened up here. Uh, there we go and it's got your instruction manuals in it and it's also got oops, let me pull this out inner box out it's also got your charging cord in the bottom USB-C charging cord and it's got this nice little carrying pouch that you can put it in as well so that's very handy we'll uh, keep these items in their original boxes because I don't use them at this time. Uh, I have other means for charging it and so on. So I like to keep all the original stuff, you know, packed in the original box just so I don't lose track of it, um, especially if I don't need it at the time being. So this is the necklace itself. And you can see it has a hardwired pogo magnetic cable that goes into the glasses here. And it has a directional pad on the left side. It has a push to talk button because it does have Google Assistant built into it, being it's Android OS. And we have a, uh, let's see, this button here. I can't remember what that button does off the top of my head. This one goes back a screen. This one goes home. Um, this one, oh, this one, if you double tap it, uh, activates and deactivates the control with your, as you move your head, the cursor on the screen. Then on the top side, we have a series of buttons up here as well. This powers the device on and off. This, if you double click it, will activate and deactivate ambient mode. And this is your volume up and down controls. And then, of course, your charging port is right here. And there's also vents here because it does have a cooling fan inside to help keep the entire thing cool. Because, of course, it's basically a miniature computer that you wear around your neck. All right, so that's going to conclude this segment of the video. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next part. What you think of a chair's glasses? Love these things. Try it with their neck band. The neckband is like an Android computer, but with AR sensors that remove screen vibrations for a super smooth experience. Way smoother. I'm, I'm just tired hey, of that. Hey, guys. I'm tired of that too. Guys. What? You can watch your own shows at the same time. What? Stream or download shows directly to the neckband or connect an external hard drive. <laughs> ah, much better. <laughs> Did you know the neckband can minimize your screen? Minimize? <laughs> that sounds fun. Nice glasses. Thanks. Oh, I forgot. The neckband AR sensors lock your screen in space, even if you turn your head. Hey, yo, did you bring your PlayStation? No. Perfect. The neckband can connect to your PlayStation through Wi-Fi or 5G. See you in the morning. So you can play from anywhere. Yo, what's up, guys? No, oh, dude, we're still on the road. Level up your XR experience with the Mature Neckband. All right, so here we have the Vitcher Android Neckband. And we just slip it around our neck like this, nice and comfy. And we have the magnetic pogo connector. And then we take our Vitcher 1XR glasses, take them out of the case. And I do have the uh, plastic lens shade on today. I'll take that back off. And I just slip the glasses on like so, and I take the magnetic pogo cable from the neckband and connect it on behind my ear. And then I press and hold the power button right here. 
so that I can power the, the system on. And you'll know when you've got it powered on, you'll not only get a bit of a vibration from it, um, but you'll also get the picture. The future is on view. Splash screen will come up in front of your eyes. Um, it'll change from blue picture text to white. And then you'll get the home screen, which again, I can't really show you because there's no easy way to record through the insides of these lenses with a camera, but I'll share uh, some of Vitcher's uh, promotional media clips about the neckband with you as well um, here in my video. Now, of course, you can connect the neckband to your home Wi-Fi network, or if you can run a Wi-Fi hotspot off your smartphone, you could use that if you're away from home, um, you're not staying in some place where you have a readily available Wi-Fi internet connection or if you're out camping or something like that. Um, on the Bitcher One neckband, I have all of my streaming apps. So I've got YouTube, I've got Netflix, I've got Paramount Plus, I've got Hulu, I've got Peacock, I've got Apple Plus, you know, Apple TV Plus, so on and so forth. It does also have a 3D player as well. The This is the only system that supports true 3D video. So it's like having an IMAX theater right here in front of your eyes, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, being this is a standard Android mobile computer or portable computer you can pair it with various bluetooth accessories whether you want to use it with airpods or any other kind of bluetooth earbuds you can do that my airpod maxes work with it bluetooth keyboard or mouse to make things a little easier when you're typing in passwords for your streaming accounts anything like that you can use you know those kind of items as well what i personally did is i went online and i found a really small tri-folding uh, wireless Bluetooth keyboard with a trackpad attached on one end that's USB-C rechargeable. It's absolutely fantastic little device. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. And it's small enough to fit in a shirt pocket or your back pants pocket or whatever the case may be. And it works beautiful as a little mini keyboard to use with the Vitcher One neckband. So absolutely handy to have, you know, for when you need to type in text when you're using this neckband. But this is a full media streaming system right here that you wear right around your neck. And it's very lightweight. It's very comfortable. Now, I was worried when I first put this on and booted it up because I thought the fan, the cooling fan, sounded a little bit loud. And you can go into the settings and reduce the fan noise. You can tell it to put it on a quiet mode. But it does let you know that it will cause the band to get a little bit warmer. Now, some people that have already reviewed this on Amazon claim it gets too hot to be worn comfortably. I, I think they're uh, fake reviewers, to be honest. I think they're from competing companies that are trying to bass Bitcher. The only reason why I say that is I've had this thing for almost a month now, and I run it in the regular fan mode. I run it in the quiet mode. The quiet mode, it does get a little bit warmer, um, but not unbearable to wear. Uh, most of the time when I'm wearing this and I'm streaming it sitting out on my front deck, I'm just wearing a tank top t-shirt, which I wear most of the time. Uh, especially when I'm at home, even during the winter months. And this thing doesn't even get warm enough for me to notice it. So people online saying that it gets too hot to wear, uh, either they got a faulty one or they're just outright lying because it doesn't get anywhere near that warm, even when you have the fan on the quiet mode and it does get a little bit warmer than normal. Now, what I was worried about is I was afraid that on a normal cooling mode, the fan was going to be too loud. But to be honest, once you start streaming content because you got the speakers right here by your ears, you don't even notice the fan. You'd be surprised how quick you totally, your body just totally tunes the fan out and you don't hear it at all anymore, um, which is really fantastic. Uh, now, like I mentioned, that one button that it took me a minute to remember what it does, you double tap that and it turns on a little circular cursor in your view and then you can move your head and that moves that cursor around the screen so you don't need to have a mouse and you don't have to use the the directional pad to move and make selections you can just move that circular uh, cursor with your head movement and then double tap uh, in the center of the directional pad to select an item once you got that circle over it and then you double press that button again and it turns that uh, head navigation feature back off so you can turn it on and off as you see fit. 
uh, which is what I do. Like if I'm watching YouTube videos, I'll turn it on when a YouTube video goes to ads, you know, their ad break. And if they're skippable ads, then I'll turn the cursor on. And as soon as I'm able to, I'll move down to the corner and double tap to skip the ads and go back to the content I'm watching. And then I'll double tap the button to turn the, the head navigation cursor back off uh, because then I no longer need it. But as you were able to see from the media from Vitcher that I shared with you about the neckband and what all you can do with it, this is a really amazing and handy gadget. It is an, They are officially partnered with PlayStation Play as well as Xbox Play. So with this device, you can link from anywhere in the world remotely using a 5G connection back to your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox One or whatever it's called now. I can't even keep track of all the Xboxes. Um, and you can play all of your games, your favorite games, from anywhere in the world using the Vitra One neckband, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. You no longer have to lug your big game system with you and have access to a television to hook it up to. And all that crazy stuff, you can do it all with your Vitra One neckband. Neckband. Now, an additional item that you can get for the neckband, and I happen to have it here, is this charging case. So this is sold separately, and I'll put links down in the description to the items, um, so you can check them out for yourself or buy them yourself if you want to. Uh, they will be affiliate links. I'm just letting you know that now. It doesn't increase the cost of the items at all. Uh, it just gives a, a few cents or maybe a dollar to the channel. Um, if you would use the affiliate links to help me out, that'd be greatly appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything extra you get the items for the same retail price so this is the charging case for the neck band and again you just fold the neck band back up stick it in this case instead of the original box it came in and then the magnetic pogo connector goes right here to the spot in the center and that's how it charges in this case and then this case on the front has a USB-C port and it has little four little LED indicators to let you know how much charge this case has left to it so you can put your neck band in here connect the pogo connector to the magnetic post in there just like the one on the glasses and this case will charge your glasses or I mean your uh, your neckband for you and you'll be good to go um, so it's extremely handy to have this now I did write to the folks at Vitcher and I because I've got a really good relationship with them over the last few weeks emailing them back and forth questions I have and they've been wonderful to answer them for me and I've sent them suggestions uh, you know my thoughts on things they could do for future products and stuff like that and I told them the other day, I said, hey, you know, a cool thing you guys really ought to think about doing is at some point down the road, release a larger carrying case that's a dual purpose case. In other words, one single case that would carry the glasses and the neckband and be a charging case all in one. So you could have both of them in a single zip enclosure case that's fairly crush proof like these cases are, but it would have the charging functionality for the neck band in it. And then you could have your entire media system in one in one one combined case that would be a lot more convenient. Plus, if they made a you know a bigger case that would handle both the glasses and the neck band at once, they could probably put an even larger battery in it, um, so you could get more recharges for your neck band um, off the uh, charging case, which would be really cool. And I'll, and I'll bet you anything that would sell like hotcakes, uh, because most gamers I know from when I was younger and I was a gamer. Of course, we didn't have a lot of this technology back when uh, when dinosaurs roamed the earth when I was a kid. Uh, but if I could have had this kind of equipment when I was young and an avid gamer, uh, I would want the most convenient way possible to carry all my gaming gear. Um, so being able to combine the glasses, the neckband, and a larger charging case is all one convenient carry-all case would have been absolutely phenomenal. All right. All right. So this is going to wrap up my uh, review of this product. I think it is absolutely stunning and amazing, and I highly recommend you check it out. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, and put your comment down below so you can get your entry in for my latest giveaway where you have a chance to win a... Uh, I'm having a brain cramp right now. The uh, pro camera grip for your smartphone. Uh, shift cam, that's what it was. Uh, pro camera grip for your smartphone. That contest ends on November 30th, and the winner will be announced sometime after that. So make sure you get your entries in. All right, I will see you all in the next video.